So what's up everybody? It's me, it's me, True Star Screamer. And we are here with yet another review of something completely, totally awesome. We've got here the Maestro Union, uh, Fure Planet, uh, Fure, Fure, Furry. Uh, there's a lot of ways going with this. But we have the Blade Master Wang figure. Uh, I got this from Amazon. Uh, just like I had the Veteran William figure. Uh, seriously, I don't know what's going on with BBTS lately. I'm not sponsored by them, so I can say this. But like their Veteran William just showed up last week. So, which is cool. If you want to get them, now's the time to get them. But I don't know when their uh, Blade Master Wang is going to show. So, um, if you're impatient, I believe you can still find them on Amazon. But, uh, yeah. This is something very, very cool. I apologize, I already took them out of the box. Uh, this video has taken a couple of days to do, believe it or not. This is a interesting and complicated piece. Um, this is nowhere near as intimidating as Veteran William was, as far as playability, accessory count, and things like that. But he's got his own challenges. If this video was sponsored, it would have to be sponsored by a hairdryer. And let me tell you, first of all, I found this at a thrift shop the other day. Something like this should be packaged with the Maestro Union figures. Because, dude, you need a hairdryer to do anything with this guy if it involves switching out the parts. Just know that. If you know it, if you, if, you, if you have it on hand, you're good to go. That being said, let's talk about the actual guy himself. Um, one of the biggest things I have to say is the paint on and sculpt on this guy is completely impeccable. Plain and simple. If you want to, if you're the type of guy who, type of guy, if you're the type of collector who takes your figures out, messes with them a little, then puts them in a display case at a jaunty pose. This figure is absolutely perfect for that. Uh, my gosh, my god, the uh, level they've put in detail on the paint on this is astounding. Um, starting, just because my hand's here, all the f brass or metals on him, they've all been, they got this painted patina on it which is just beautiful it's even on his weapons case you know anything that was a brass inlay we go from the front the back um all of this is making it look like he's been out and his met all these metals have been exposed to the elements uh the leg wraps themselves they've got a beautiful black wash to them uh, his leggings okay when i first saw him i was kind of uh disappointed they had these open legs because I thought that these were the you know his, he had holes in his pants type of thing like okay it's two part pants no these are just leggings that wrap around his lower legs and this is all by design because if you look inside he's got the painted tiger knees um, his stripes are all well done you know you look at his face we'll go to his other face sculpt too there's a dry brushing to the fur uh, speaking of you know his cloak here it's got dry brushing and over spray and everything is just immaculate uh, the, he's got the faux jade for his amulets this is a hundred dollar figure you know I'm cutting to the chase on this and you are absolutely getting the premium presentation on this no complaints on that at all get this guy out he looks good as I said mess him a little put him in a display case this is absolutely a conversation piece and I love it uh, even even the ringlets on his bra these brass rings on his bracelets again they got that patina I just every time I look at this guy I find something new some new detail that they've uh, made pronounced and it I absolutely love it uh, next is his accessory count I mentioned before he's got less stuff than veteran William and that's not a bad thing, to be honest. Uh, he does have... Oh. 
Actually, one of my favorites is his bamboo hat. It's got the top cut off, so you can make room for the top knot, and it's got little notches, so when you do put it on, it makes it accommodates for his ears. And we have an awesome looking wandering soul, wandering adventurer. This is definitely, I think it, I'm going to have him in my display case. Uh, he also comes with this little bag here. Uh, it's got three, three little kunai daggers, which I did not put on here, as well as a small pouch that I can hook into his belt somewhere, as well as a little bit of twine. So when you have the case on his back, you can make it look like it's tied on there. Me, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, he also has an alternate head sculpt. I'm going to take off the hat here real quick. Again, it looks looks good on that hat too. The hat looks good on his head there too. But um, this is what he has by default. And then he's got a slight grimace. I am a little disappointed that I didn't. we don't get an open mouth roaring one. Uh, with this, something to keep in mind, my top knots, they, they definitely um, work their way out. I don't know if I... I'm debating if I want to glue them in or not. I know this top one here, it, I mean the one on the opening head here, it pops out really easy. But just keep that in mind. Uh, hands. We do have a nice selection of them. Uh, I've got here, and he also has a second uh, open hand, which is pretty neat. Uh, the claws, very well done. Uh, something I gotta say is the wrist hinges on here. Oh my gosh, they are tight. Uh, I don't know if I should... I, I'm tempted to put some of these in the freezer just to see if I can kind of break whatever's got them frozen in there. Uh, heat is not working on all these guys. And of course, speaking of heat, if I change out any hands, this guy is coming into play. The holes, I'm sorry, they are not loosening up. So no matter what, if, if you want to change it on the fly, you got to have a hair dryer. Uh, this is, like I said, I found this at a thrift shop, but on Amazon, they do have little travel uh, hair dryers. I like them because they're low wattage. I can point the heat directly at the hand and not worry about the hair dryer blasting my entire hand, my other hand completely, which is great. Uh, he has a pair of holding hands. That looks look good. pair of fists, which I will probably never have him using. And then for this hand, I've got like a little chopping hand, or I could probably have him do the whole stop thing. But again, this, there is so much paint in here. This is definitely one I have to work on. And on the other hand here, I have this one with his two fingers like this, which can be used for Many interesting expressions, but its primary purpose is to hold this beautiful pipe. And I mentioned this, yes, this pipe. Oh, let me get you balanced on here. Stay. I love this pipe. I really do. Beautifully painted piece of bamboo, brass on the ends, and it just fits right in his fingers, just right. So you can absolutely have him chilling and relaxing. I mean, just ask Pippin, just ask Strider. Every great adventure never goes anywhere without his pipe. It looks good. I'll put that off to the side for now. Uh, he also has a pair of alternate feet, which I have not really utilized. These might be a little more stable than these feet are, but they don't. I think these look better. But I do think it's kind of cool. It looks like he's got his paws kind of jammed in there. Again, these are well painted. You got to heat up the bottom of these to peg into there. Um, and what is nice, this will give it a boot swivel for articulation. Uh, finally, he's got these gorgeous swords. These are so well done. These are probably two of the best looking swords I have ever seen. And I have got a lot of high end figures uh, from the hilts that they've got like demon faces on them. Um, I can't tell uh, 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 the tigers 
on the blades, uh, the brass rings on here. Uh, the blades themselves have got that beveling to them. Had a little bit of scratch right there, I'm sorry, unfortunately, but I can, I love it. This looks absolutely gorgeous and they look beautiful in hand too. And they of course go onto this case, which has a faux red velvet interior. Let me go ahead and pop this off. It's got the little red interior and these just fit in there perfectly. So this is again, grade A stuff. Um, want to point out that how the case is, there's a peg here. It just fits in the back there. And when you don't have the case on, if we don't have the case on here, there is a plug that fits and it's actually keyed for how it's supposed to go. So the cloak looks complete. Uh, the cloak I want to point out is a soft rubber. Um, the ties are really well done, but because it's the soft rubber, now it looks good on him. It is shaped, but it does, because of its nature, it does, uh, it does um, hinder articulation and posing. So keep that in mind. I Again, the cloak is a great display piece. But if you want to get all oh, with the jaunty angles and all, you definitely want to take that off. And when you take that off, you got to pop his head off to do so. And that's how I found out how easily this thing comes out. Uh, now I've got the cloak off of him. I'm going to show some of his articulation. And the reason I say some is, again, it is still hindered with his base design. Uh, I do want to point out this, the armor here. This was absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's that same soft rubber plastic. Um, it's layered, which is nice. This is removable. You have to pop the torso off, but when you do so, it opens up so much more articulation. Uh, Mad Hatter Reviews actually was showing that off in one of his videos. And, well, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, I'll talk about it in a second. Um, he does have like the faux McFarlane joint so it's not quite a real butterfly joint it is a ball and peg but it's got the little filler piece so it looks like a butterfly which I like um, again veteran Williams had veteran William had that um, decent ab crunch forward decent ab crunch back I don't feel any compulsion to dremel that out uh, he does have a tail on a bendy wire which is pretty neat a uh, double jointed knees uh, there is a swivel here at the base of the foot and he does have ankle pivots the wrists they do hinge but again they're very very tight and the bracelets here do kind of hinder that as well and that's honestly that's probably my second major complaint about this guy like the articulations here but to really take advantage of it you gotta strip him of all the cool stuff so, just, it, it's a double-edged sword of, do you want it to be a good presentation or do you want to have them utterly poseable? Oh, almost forgot. Speaking of, he also has a fur collar like Veteran William has. I did, I don't have it on here right now because, again, that helps restrict his neck movement. Um, a torso is also on a ball joint, so it does give us a little bit more movement on here. And then with the paw legs, it does um, make balancing a little tricky. But this guy's blade. This guy is the blade master. So let's see how he looks with the blades. So here I've got him armed up, and again, this looks absolutely awesome. Uh, I think probably when I do put him on display, I'll put the cloak back on him, have the weapon case in his back, and have him holding these guys with the hat on, uh, with the hat on there. I did put the fur collar on here as well, so you can guys see how it looks with a little more of a complete look to it. I'm 50-50. I think I probably could have lived without it. Um, since they decided not to do the secondary torso like they did with Veteran William, I don't feel um, I needed the full tiger look to it. I think I would have preferred the articulation, but there are probably those who would have complained. So 
they appease them, which is cool for a company. Uh, my other few complaints I have to say when messing with this, like this torso, like this pin here, this got really, really, really loose. Um, also, so that's kind of takes some of the fun out of it. Uh, his balance with these feet is a little precarious. I mean, once you find that sweet spot, he's pretty good. Um, I do like having the tail posable, which is great. So this guy's got some really good personality to it. Uh, just again, with the this with this flopping here, sometimes gravity does take control. Uh, what else to keep in mind? He's just, again, he's just imposing on here. Uh, the, I also want to point out the hinges, the wrist hinges on the swords. They are the up and down ones, which is a, adding a great dynamic to how the guy looks. But what else? Speaking of how the guy looks, let's do some quick size comparisons because this is a big boy and he lends himself to a lot of neat photography options. I'm going to lose the base here for a little bit just so we can kind of give a good even ground for everybody. So first let's start off with some six inch figures. Um, I've got the Nada Toys Wukong, which I absolutely, still absolutely love, uh, review here somewhere. And as to animal deities, they look very, they look very good together. And I've got them next to the greatest six inch figure of my collection, which is the Garrison Calvary. Sorry, fight me for it. I love this guy, and it's a it, he, they scale well. Like this is a he pulled from some dimensional gap. I don't know, but um, I think that it looks neat. Again, huge imposing beast next to these guys. More anthropomorphic wonders. We have Pale from the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom series. They're okay. Again, Pale I think is just looks a little too cartoonish. If that makes sense. Uh, with just with all the dark painting on here um, so it's up to you on that and then we've got the NECA movie turtle these guys look great together just like they did with um, veteran William just if you think how a scale how a turtle scales with the six inch figures they should be smaller so I think this is a very good scaling on that. just for kicks here is the fury toys totally not Leonardo as in spring now this, <laughs> again, if you think how a tiger, a turtle is to a tiger, this actually works really well and their painting aesthetics work very well together. It's much more serious, you know, with the extra uh, paints and sh wash on there. Um, I actually think they work really well. Uh, I cannot wait for the rest of these guys to come up. I'm going to have them like swarming this guy right here. And so, yeah, whether you go with the movie or this, I think it works very well. Now with a guy who's probably going to be on everybody's top figure list this year, here is Veteran William himself. I've, I've been having him in my in the werewolf form. I'm after getting this guy and keeping him in his in, with his clothes not being able to come off. That did not sound right. I may actually convert him back to the soldier form for the display. But um, as you can see, like this guy's no small f character at all. This guy is huge compared to him, and yeah, this is, it looks, they look awesome. This is going to be such a good display for me once um, the rest of these figures start coming out. And finally, next to the one figure in my collection who could truly prove to be a challenge for him in a fight, Mr. G. Bet you thought I forgot about this guy, didn't you? I didn't. Hey, look, here's a review card for him. Go watch the review. This is such a good figure. Seriously, it's so much fun. Oh, one last thing I almost forgot. He did come packaged with the comic as well. And for the uh, Amazon one, it, this is in English, by the way, for the, at least for, for, for the Amazon. So I don't know how they got their shipment before Big Bad did, but they, but they did. And inside here, of course, has the preview for the other figures, which includes, where is it, where is it? The rabbit is in here. Uh, I cannot wait for him to come out because this guy looks an, like an utter badass. So for those of you who've been sticking around with this whole review, if you haven't figured it out yet, yeah, I like him. This is not flawless. Um, I think Veteran William in some ways is a better figure. Well, Veteran William is a better figure, yes. It offers more posability. Um, this guy, though, 
his utter presence is absolutely astounding. I mean, I can't say, I mean, I said, William is a better figure, period. It just, he does more, allows more. This guy, though, is a display piece, is a statement maker. Oh my God. He's fantastic. I, I get, it's not as challenging to come up with how I want him to be on my shelf, but okay, do I want him cloaked or not? Is dumb decisions, but these are what you have to make with these guys. Um, the fact that you need a hair dryer to change anything out on him is crazy. Uh, the joints, the hand things are just way too tight. And then I get things where the arms are a bit too loose on the bicep joints. So I'll just put some kiki in there. And I might have to glue these top knots in. But aside from that, I have zero regrets. This absolutely is a $100 figure. If this is your type of collectible and you are on the fence on this, get him. Absolutely order him. You will not be disappointed. Um, I, I may have, it's taken me a while to record this review, but every time I've done it, I've still enjoyed it and I've found more things about him that I enjoy. Um, if you've got them, let me know. That's where the comments are below. If you've got any questions about them, let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. As I love to say, I got so many cool things on the way and it just gets more and more fun every week, every time a box shows up. Um, anything you would like me to review, let me know down below. I read these comments. Again, there's not a lot of them, so it makes it really easy for right now. But um, I appreciate every one of you guys who clicks on this video. Every one of you hits that like button and every one of you who's a subscriber. Um, as always though, until next time, take care. Peace.